all right hi guys and welcome back to my channel kels to hottie hey hotties anywho if you're new hit the subscribe button right now because you're gonna be in love and if you old you know what to do hit the post notification bell leave a comment share subscribe all that funny stuff you know the regular regular degular but anywho right here this video people ask me this a lot i'm always gonna ask this everybody always want to know so this is some things you need to know before you start a youtube channel or a business okay this goes for both because i feel like they're one and the same your youtube is a business you are a brand and you're gonna build yourself right so one you need to know don't pay nobody to make nothing that youtube can teach you honestly um i did not pay nobody to make my intros i made both my intros myself the first one that i made when i first first started my channel and the one that i currently use now i made both of them myself and it might have took me a while like an hour or two to make it okay so what that was worth it instead of me paying somebody who might zole you like scam you and take your money and not give you nothing so just go on youtube find a video look up how to make an intro tutorial for beginners how to make a youtube banner for beginners how to make a youtube thumbnail for beginners youtube teaches you everything there's no reason to ever go out your way to pay somebody 30 dollars for something that you can do yourself you just sit down when i'm bored it's so funny like i made all of those stuff when i was just sitting at home bored like i'm at home bored doing nothing watching the same stupid stuff on tv on netflix or whatever just go on YouTube, put it up on your TV. You know, everybody got a, everybody has a, a smart TV now. I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, my TV don't got YouTube. My, go on your PlayStation. Go on something. Put it up somewhere where you can watch it and do it on your phone or your iPad. It's always easier that way. Number two, with that being said, number two, always, always have something separate to edit your videos on. Because these videos will take up all your storage. Like, you will have no... You probably wouldn't even have storage for your messages, your songs, no nothing. So, literally... This is a must. Always. When I say always, always, always have something else to edit on. Currently, I edit on three things. My computer, my iPad, and I have... I actually went out and bought a whole nother phone just for YouTube. Like, it's so... Like, that is so important. Like, a ring light is a must. Number three, a ring light is a must. People like... They like good quality. You want your video... Even if you're not recording on uh, a... A neon, give me a neon, a Canon camera, because I have a Canon camera, but right now I'm recording on my phone. Um, whatever works best for the video or for the moment. Like I didn't feel like setting up my camera right now, so I'm recording on my phone. Anywho, hold on. With that being said, let me actually show y'all my camera. My camera came in this. Well, it didn't come in this. I know it came in a box or whatever. But this is my camera case, and let me show y'all. This is the charger. This is the actual camera itself. I took the lens off. So this is the cap that you put right here to cover it so it stays safe. And you know what? Like, like it doesn't get scratched up and shit like that or whatever. Camera turns on. This is what I use to record my videos. Um, they came with this lens. I don't I, I don't ever use this lens. I don't understand the purpose for this one. This shit will zoom into your panty line if you let it. It just go all the way in. And but I use this. This is the lens that I actually use. This one is smaller. It same kind of quality, to be honest. It's just the better camera for the occasion, or the I mean the better lens for the occasion. But like I said, having an iPad or something like that is a must. Something else to edit and stuff on is a must. Okay, having a separate phone as far as recording and stuff. When you're just starting off, it's not necessary at the moment. It's really not. You can record on your phone. You can use the front camera with good lighting. Because right now, I'm using my front camera. You can use the front camera with good lighting. You can use the back camera if you don't really have, like, an up-to-date phone. The back camera is always better than the front. So, you can use the back camera, great lighting. You know, set it up how you want it. A ring light. Like I said, a ring light is needed. You do need a ring light. You definitely do. That's not something where it's like, oh, I'm picking and choosing. No. You need it because... Let me show you. Without it, I'm sitting here talking to you like this, and the video is not good. The quality is not nice, right? A ring light is always needed. It's always needed, okay? I don't want to hear, no, I don't need it right now. No, yes, you do. Do not start recording if you do not have a ring light or, or some type of light. It could be a lamp that's just bright as hell. 
You need some type of light because don't nobody want to sit here looking at you in the dark. Anywho, um, what else? Grow your fan base before posting. Like, don't post no videos if you only got like 10 subscribers because it's no point. Don't get me wrong. Of course, you can if you want to. That's all on you. But for me, I would say build until you have at least 100 subscribers to then post your first video. I waited till I had like 300 subscribers. But build and build and build. It doesn't take that long. You know, you can go on Facebook, join some groups, and, you know, just leave your link in the comments. Go on your Instagram, join... Join some groups or whatever, some messages, groups, because that's how I started. I was in a whole lot of groups when I first started doing YouTube. But one thing about those groups is the love is not real. The support is not genuine. You might find a few genuine one peoples or whatever, you know, but, like, it's not real. Everybody's just in there to build and build and build. And that's good, but then at the same time, it's not because YouTube catches on and stuff like that. Like, if they just subscribe and that's it. Sometimes you might lose subscribers just because of that. Even if they are real subscribers, you know, they got to subscribe, like something, watch a little two minutes. So they know, like, so YouTube know that it's real. Like, that's why I said it's always best to just build before you post your videos. So, you know, you have an audience to talk to. You're not really sitting here talking to yourself. Okay? And, um, yeah. Keep building. Join groups, like I said. Facebook groups like a uh, Sub for Sub or Watch for Watch or Comments for Comments. You know, just support each other and... I'm sorry, it's this here on my life. Support each other and people will support you. It's just like... Some people, though, don't get me wrong. Some people, they will sub and unsub, but... Like I said, sometimes it really don't be them. It be YouTube. Like, if somebody just subscribes and that's it, then it won't really stick. But if you're building and you're new to YouTube and you start off with zero subscribers, at least wait till you have 100 subscribers to post a video. Because, like, it's all about the watch hours and the watch time. If you're not getting no views, then you're making those videos for no reason. I wouldn't say no reason because, of course, somebody's going to watch it. Somebody's going to find it. It's always going to pop up on somebody's YouTube, like, suggestions or whatever, you know. But... It's some videos that will really just go unseen. Like, you probably get, like, 10 views, and that's it. Literally. Like, some videos do go unseen. So, you got to know. Like, you got to play with your audience. See what they like. I say... When I say don't post a video, I don't mean don't post none until you have 100. I mean, like, if you're going to post a video, post your intro. Like, the intro to your videos that you're going to be using. Post that and use that link to share with people when you're telling them to sub to your channel. So, that way, you're building your views, and the subscribers are going to stick, you know? It's, some people are not going to tell you this, but this is what you have to do. Like, this is in order for you to grow and be successful and actually get somewhere, this is what you have to do. Post your intro. Share the link. And that, that's the link you're going to share. Do not click your channel link and share the channel link. No. Share your video because it's always going to pop up under it. Your name is going to pop up and they can just hit subscribe right under the video. So share your video and let, let your views grow. Because in order for you to get paid on YouTube, you need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. It used to be less. But now you need a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours. Watch hours are the time, you know, like if you post a video that's ten minutes long and you get fifty views, fifty and ten, you do the math, you know. That's how you get watch hours. That that's the math behind the whole watch hour logic, okay? Um, when you're posting stuff, be careful not to post stuff with too much cursing in it, no too much nudity, you know, like because if you if you wanna get paid they're not going to pay you for you sitting in a video cursing throughout the whole video. A little one or two here and there, that's fine. But they're not going to pay you for that. Um, When you do get monetized, do not, I repeat, do not use anybody else's song. Nobody's song, no show, no nothing. You will get copyrighted and you will not get paid. So them hundreds of dollars that you will get for your video is going to somebody who's already rich. Do not, I repeat, do not. Use nobody's song at all. Like, don't. I don't care if it's your favorite song and the artist be reposting you on Snap when you tag them. Do not. Do not. I, I mean it. Like, you're not going to get paid. You're going to send your little $500 that might be a lot to you to somebody who could kill us. Oh, it's a little $500. Okay, cool. No. If you want to, use a song. Try to get, like, a speeded up version or slowed down version. And when you're editing your videos on top of that, Slow it down or speed up your um 
your intro so that way it changes the pitch in the song so that way you won't get copyrighted because they will copyright you and tell you you cannot make no money off your video the most they'll give you was like two dollars and that is sad anywho i might get copyrighted for telling y'all all this but i really don't care this is something that y'all need to know um what else don't be arguing with the people in the comments that'll tell you stuff like oh you bad you look stupid i i you ugly you should stop don't argue with them because your subscribers are the ones that are going to defend you it's no need for you to ever get out of character with anybody on youtube unless it's necessary because don't get me wrong some of y'all do be under here talking crazy like i'm soft and i ain't soft and i know that y'all watch my story times it's never been no i'm scary or nothing i'm i'm not the one to play with and some of y'all still be trying to play with me i don't get it i don't know why i must look like they mama because I don't know who they think they be talking to. But yeah. Do not argue with them. Just let them say what they gotta say. Let them be ignorant. Ignorance is bliss. And that's that. Like, let them be a, a meat muncher. They're getting paid for their comments, likes, and views. Like, it don't matter what they say to you. It don't. It don't. Every time they try to be funny, I'm like, I get paid for your comment. Your view. And you're like, I don't care for your opinion. I just want the money. Why me my coin? Like, the other day, somebody was like, you always got a wig on, but never flat iron it. You know why? If I back out my wigs right now, you're going to see how many I have. I have 20-something wigs. And if I don't want to flat iron one of them, or if I don't want to wear it flat iron, then I'm going to wear it air-dried and poofy. Maybe I want the full look. Maybe I don't, I'm not going nowhere. I'm not about to, especially because I don't go anywhere. I'm home recording in my bedroom, first of all, half the time. The tops I'm wearing be cute. And I be wearing pajama bottoms. Like, it's no point in me trying to get on here and look so sassy for a little 20, 30 minute video. I'm not bougie. And that's another thing. When you start on YouTube, be yourself. Do not be come on here and try to act like everybody else and do what everybody else is doing. No. Be you because they already see that. They're already watching other people that do that. Do you. Be you and they're going to like that. Play around with your channel. See what they like. Do a story time. Do a get ready with me. Do a questionnaire. Do a, a slang video from where you from. See what they like. What they like seeing you do. Like what they what they feel like fits you best. Like your personality. You know? And whatever they like the most, run with it. It's going to take your channel off. I promise you. It's all, it's, your channel is going to blow up. Just be yourself. Like stop trying to be mo nyc doing everybody want everybody want everybody in new york out here is trying to do blind dates and i really find that corny because like this is not blackpeoplemeet.com i feel like this is youtube and youtube be giving a clout to the wrong people i don't get it but you know people just like action and drama so i try my best to give them the action and the drama that they're looking for because that's what y'all like. This is what y'all want. This is what my the people from my channel want. They they want that. They want to see me go out, have fun, do fun stuff, be myself, tell my old stories, give them a rundown on how New York. They want to see stuff like that. This is what I'm telling you. This is what they tell me. Interact with your subscribers and let them know. Like, oh, give me some suggestions. Give me actually some questions, guys. Like, you know, interact with them and actually get to know them. Don't be Hollywood and trying to act like you're too good to talk to them. No, because they're the ones that's helping you blow up. Without them, you're nothing. So interact with them and get to know them get to know what they like some of my subscribers have my number they text me on instagram i respond like respond with them like you know play like you're human you ain't Nicki minaj you ain't no dear and ken the the prince family you're, you're not them you don't have millions of subscribers and millions of views so interact with the little subscribers that you do have like yeah they might be a lot to you but to the world that's nothing like i have seventeen thousand. honestly that's a lot but it ain't nothing to me because i'm trying to get bigger i want two hundred and fifty thousand. i'm gonna quarter million i'm gonna half i'm gonna million i'm trying to keep going i'm trying to blow up that's what you gotta do you're not about to get comfortable and start moving hollywood no don't ever get comfortable where you at you're supposed to want to elevate 24 7 okay okay um what else like um make sure in your videos there's this thing that you have to put in the top of your description of every video that you post it's um owner copyright s s as in sam m as in me e as in egg s m e owner copyright s m e put that at the top of your video owner copyright semicolon or colon it don't matter whatever you want to put s m you need to put that at the top or else you can get copyrighted for like, you know, like it's a sound in the background or like a TV in the background or something like that. You can get copyrighted for stuff like that if that's not there. So, that's why I always record in the in silence. Like, 
my mom and i'm gonna call her to my tv off turn it down i don't want to hear it because room was right next to my i don't want to hear it my little brother i don't want to hear you screaming on your game i don't want to hear none of that shut up i'm only recording for like an hour shut up watch tv he all the way in the living room. So shut up and watch. He be screaming. I promise you, I can hear him from back here. If he if he was up right now, y'all would hear him screaming. Like, he be on his game screaming. Fuck yo, You suck. I'm going off. I'm take, take, take all that down. I don't want to hear it. Zero. Um, what else? Like, I don't really know anything else to tell y'all. Like, be consistent. That's another thing. Be consistent. I'm a little, I'm, I've been slacking a little bit recently. But that's because I was just working on something and, and like, I needed my time. Like, I didn't have time to record. And I didn't have time to do a lot of stuff. Like, I have so many videos that I have not edited. All because I've been trying to get my, my website together. So, like, you just got to get it together. And um, that's it. Um, I was going to play a game on my channel one day. And I just decided that I didn't have enough subscribers to play the game yet. So, I'm going to wait and build. The game is called Convo and Chill. And it was sent to me by somebody. And the questions on the game is like, do if you and your husband have been married for a year, you have two kids together, you find out he cheated on you, would you stay? Would you leave? Questions like that, or um, like, do you think it's okay to teach sex ed from first grade? Da da da, like stuff like that, like conversation questions, like you know. But I don't feel like I have enough subscribers for that yet, and I don't need the video to flop. I need it to, I need to to get lit. I want it to go up, but. As for YouTube and starting a business, build. That's it. Literally build. It's like building a house. You got to build a fortress. You're building your brand. Starting from small. Um, what else? I'm thinking, y'all. Hold on. Pretty much said everything. Oh, ads. When you do get paid... You get paid off the ads. A lot of people think you get paid off the views. Of course, the views has something to do with it. But if I don't run no ads in my video, my views got my views have nothing to do with my money because I'm not getting paid. I get paid for the ads that's running in my video, and they multiply that by the views. So you know that's how you get paid. Make sure you don't put too many, but don't put too little because you also don't want to rob yourself because. You're not like these other YouTubers who has millions of subscribers who's going to get paid regardless of if they drop a video or not. You you got to build and you want your coin. You're not doing this for free. Like, yeah, obviously you starting off doing it for free, but this is not something you want to continue to do for free. You got to build your coin. Even Coco Melon got ads in their little videos or whatever. My little cousin and my um my friend's son, we was watching Coco Melon the other day on YouTube and it had like six ads in that whole video. I'm like, no way, I got ads in this too. But then I remember, this is all about money. Everybody got to make money. And this is how, it's the only way YouTube pays you is if you run ads. So I was like, no, that's cool. Um, As far as collabing and stuff, if you want to collab, you can collab with others, of course. But out here, they don't really be on that collab and stuff. Like, they collab with their friends in New York. Like, they wouldn't collab with a random in New York for some reason. Like, New Yorkers are not the people that you think we are. Or well, we're not as mean as the movies make us seem either. But we're not nice um that's pretty much it if i ever have anything else to let you guys know about i definitely will tell y'all but as for now that's all that can come to my head because i didn't write this down normally stuff like this i'll write down but it's just like y'all asked me this so much that i know i have i know it like if i didn't tell y'all this too be consistent you have to be consistent i probably did say that but you have to be consistent you have to you have to be you have to give them something to look forward to like oh yeah she's gonna drop today like have a schedule i don't have a schedule set but my subscribers know I'm going to drop something. Like, when I drop, it's lit. Tune in. I'm always going to drop something. Feel me? But, yeah. Have a schedule. If you want to have a schedule set, let them know, like, oh, I post Mon I post videos on Mondays and Wednesdays. Maybe Fridays if I'm in a good mood. Or you could, you know, just pick your own schedule. Let them know, like, oh, I'm going to post video today, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Or I'm not going to post no videos this week. I'm going to post a video every day for next week, though. And that, so on and so on. You do you. Make your own schedule. Your subscribers will follow you regardless of the schedule you make. If they like you, they're going to they're gonna vibe or whatever. Like, I have some male subscribers that be watching my hair tutorial videos just because it's me. So, like, if they like you, like I said, they're going to vibe or whatever. So, with that being said, I hope this video helped you guys out. It, it boosted your confidence a little. Like, okay, maybe I think I do have it down packed or whatever. Um, but yeah, 
leave a comment share subscribe and share it i said that already but yeah share it share my videos on your timeline share it to your youtube share it to your instagram share it share it like and i need y'all to follow me on instagram i'm getting real tired of telling y'all follow me on instagram i don't be on facebook so don't text me on facebook i'm on instagram all day follow me on instagram my instagram is kel dot like as a period like dot sia it is my name follow me on there follow my last instagram it's minx with a dot k like a period k minx with a period k follow both i follow back um go support my website it's called minx with a k dot shop tune in my lashes is ten dollars shipping is five dollars every pair of lashes come with a, the little brush and a tweezer if you order more than one lashes i'm not giving you a brush and tweezer for all of them but you might get depending on how much you order you might get two two brushes and one pair of tweezer it don't really matter i don't know i mean but i also have glue on my website like lash glue for your hair i mean for your lashes i'm i soon start actually selling the wigs i'm gonna work on bundles but i soon start selling wigs i'm gonna start off with bob wigs first then gradually grow my way up or whatever i'm gonna get like three or four bob wigs or four four long, long wigs or whatever add them to my website or whatever customization can be added but you will have to dm me for all those informations but with that being said toodles